Das, das Buch hier, nein, nein, Kapitel nein, nein, 9 nein, 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 nein. und Vers 23. Er hat seine eigene Meinung. Die Erde ja, ist gegeben in den Hand. Du störst meine Bitter. Die Erde ist gegeben in den Hand. Die Erde ist gegeben in den Hand. Von den Bösen. For the Bösen. That's the wicked. God said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Process of elimination. Who rules the world today? Who rules the world today? What nation of people? No, no nation. It's the money. Who controls the money? Don't play semantics. Don't try to get smart. Who rules the world today? Answer it straight up. Be honest. I'm giving you a chance to be honest for once in your life. Stand up and be honest. Who rules the earth today? White people. Thank you. You knew the answer all along. So what the brother was bringing out was that, you know Adolf Hitler. Many of you should know who Adolf Hitler is because Adolf Hitler was here in Germany. All right, so what he's saying is that the people that Adolf Hitler was killing during the Holocaust, those are not the real Jews. The real Jews are the people that you're looking up right here up on, these, on this sign right here. The so-called African-American blacks and the blacks here in Germany. Translate. The, 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 the Menschen, die Hitler abgemetzelt hat, sind nicht die echten Juden, laut der Bibel. Die echten Juden sind die sogenannten Schwarzen aus den USA hier in Deutschland und auf der Welt. The real Jews are the ones that suffered in the slave trade, the Atlantic slave trade. The people who your forefathers had on human zoos. Die echten Juden sind die Leute, sind die, Leute, äh, sind die Menschen, die durch die Sklaverei durchgegangen sind. Okay? Die äh, tormentiert, tormentiert worden sind durch eure Vorfahren. Das sind die echten Juden, die heute immer noch leiden. All nations took part in our slave trade. Why? Because we broke God's laws. God's laws was given to the Israelites. Who are the Israelites? The so-called black man in America and scattered throughout Europe. Come on. Wir sind durch diese Sklaverei gegangen und jeder, jedes Nation, jedes Nation hat teilgenommen und hat es genossen, weil wir uns nicht an unsere Gottesgesetze gehalten haben und die Gesetze hat er nur uns gegeben. Read, Das Buch Obadiah, Kapitel 1 und Vers 15. Und der Tag auf der Herr wird kommen und die ist sehr nah auf alle Heiden. Und auf die Heide, wie, wie, wie ihr es getan habt, es wird euch auch so geschehen. So what is the Bible saying? God is going to have the recompense. God is going to have his vengeance. Why? Because all nations, all European nations, all African nations, all East Indian nations had a part in our slavery. And this is not being taught. The so-called Jewish people that were slaughtered during the Holocaust, what happened to them? 1948, they received the land. Guess what? That land belongs to us. That land belongs to the Israelites. Come on. That's all. Okay, yeah. Wir, 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 ähm, die Leute, die abgeschlossen worden sind, das sind nicht echte Juden gewesen. Wir sind die echten, wir sind die echten Juden. Und er hat gerade vorher gelesen, okay? Der Tag von Gott wird kommen. Das heißt, wir machen nichts. Aber wenn Gott kommt, das ist, das, das ist die Agenda von Gott. Wenn er kommt, werden alle, die daran teilgenommen haben, die sogenannten Europäer, die sogenannten Inder, also die äh, Ostinder, ja, die sogenannten Amerikaner und so weiter, die werden alle dasselbe von Gott bekommen. Nicht von uns, von Gott. So what is, what is your question? Right, you're talking about the Israelites, the blacks. You're talking about the, 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 the blacks being the chosen generation? Yes, the, 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 the descendants of the slave trade. Okay, what does that do to us? What does that do to you? Yeah, what about my salvation? Oh, your salvation. Okay, let me read. Can I, let me read it for you. Let me let me read your salvation. Oh, yes, yes. Also, um, die Dame hier, die Dame hier hat gerade gefragt, okay, wenn wir, wenn wir die sogenannten Juden sind und Gott das Wort, wenn wir die Gewählten sind, wenn wir die Gewählten sind, was ist dann mit, was ist dann mit eurer Erlösung als Europäer oder Ostinder oder sonst was? There is salvation for you. There's salvation for you. There's salvation for you. And there's salvation for this lady that was coming up here making all this work. Let's read your salvation. You want to hear it? Isaiah 14. That is a message. It's a direct message. Absolutely. God has a message for you. Come on. Isaiah 14. Let's read it. The book Isaiah. Kapitel 14 und Vers 1. 
und der Herr wird Erbarmung am Jakob haben. So God says he's going to have mercy on Jacob. Gott sagt, er wird Erbarmen für uns, die Gewählten haben. Wir leiden immer noch, er wird noch, das heißt in, in, in Zukunft, er wird Erbarmen für uns haben, wir werden nicht mehr leiden. Und wird Israel wählen und wird sie wieder in ihr Land, Land setzen. And that land is in Jerusalem. The people you see walking around today calling themselves Jews, they are actually Jewish. They wish to be a Jew. Those are not the real Jews. The real Jews are the so-called blacks in Germany. The real Jews are the so-called blacks in America. The real Jews are the ones that were sold into slave ships. The real Jews are the ones that suffered the true Holocaust, the transatlantic slave trade. Oh, what is the Bible saying? All nations. In society, in society today, you have nations that are dominant in society, you have middle class, and you have the underclass. The so-called blacks and Hispanics who are the Israelites, because we broke God's laws, we are the underclass. God is saying when the Israelites are put back into their land, they will hold a seat of superiority, and all other nations are going to be their slaves. Also, es gibt in dieser Welt überall, alle können nicht regieren, es gibt in dieser Welt die regierende Klasse, es gibt die Mittelschicht und es gibt die Unterklasse. Wir sind die Unterklasse, weil wir uns nicht an seine Gesetze gehalten haben. Wenn Gott aber wieder kommt und was bald ist, wird er uns in unser Land reinsetzen, nicht die Nationen, er wird uns in das Land reinsetzen und dann wird, wird sich alles drehen. Wir werden oben sein und alle werden unten sein. Lord people. See what the Bible says? So the Bible is letting you know. The Bible just answered your question. God said he's going to turn the tables. Why? Because the children of Israel have always suffered under the hands of their oppressors. The oppressors will never teach the children of Israel who they are today. Why? Because how can they teach you right if they can't treat you right? So God is saying for my people who repent, God said he's going to turn the tables on you heathens. You are going to be our servants. You are going to be our slaves. Adolf Hitler, yes, guess what? He's going into captivity too. Come on. Come on. So, also, also, wie es da steht, das wird alles, das wird alles wieder umgedreht werden, okay? Das wird alles wieder umgedreht werden. Wir werden herrschen, denn alle Nationen waren bis jetzt über uns. Alle Nationen haben uns bis jetzt unterdrückt. Und Gott wird uns erlösen, wenn er dann wieder da ist. And this is a beautiful thing. This is not hatred. Because we're reading out of the Bible. This is love. This is actually not hatred. Because when the Israelites are set back in the seat of superiority, guess what? The whole earth, there's not going to be no more homosexuality. There's not going to be no more war of nations against nations. There's not going to be no more eating of unclean things. There's not going to be no more lesbianism. And so, when the Israelites are back in power, you know why? Because, Joe, because the so-called the so-called white men, the Europeans, they're the ones that run the world. The world is out of course because they are the ones in power. In America, they say, in God we trust. Do they really trust God? No, they don't. They, their God is gold, oil, and diamonds, or gold, oil, and drugs. That's why they fighting over there in Syria. That's why Israel wants Syria. America wants Syria. Why? Because of oil resources. This man has turned everything in this world upside down. Now God is raising up the Israelites right in front of your faces. The same people you call Schwatza. The same people you call eggplant. The same people you look down upon, God is raising them up right in front of your faces. And we are the ones that are going to govern this whole planet under Christ. The black man, the black Messiah called Jesus Christ. Come on, give me that in Job. Stop, listen. Job, come on. Listen a moment. Das Buch hier, Kapitel 9 und Vers 24. Die Erde ist gegeben in den Hand. Die Erde ist gegeben in den Hand von den Bösen. Von den Bösen, das ist der Wicked. Gott sagt, die Erde ist gegeben in die Hand von den Wicked. Prozess der Elimination. Wer regiert die Welt heute? Who rules the world today? What nation of people? No, no nation. It's the money who rules the world. Who controls the money? Don't play semantics. Don't try to get smart. Who rules the world today? Answer it straight up. Be honest. Did you eat the chocolate? No. You didn't eat any chocolate in the car? Did you eat a heart chocolate? No. 
Where'd the hard chocolate go? Where is it? I'm giving you a chance to be honest for once in your life. Stand up and be honest. Who rules the earth today? White people. Thank you. You knew the answer all along. Oh. You knew the answer all along. Exactly. You're right. The Bible, so why in the beginning you said the money? You control the money. So let me, not you, but your people, your nation. All right, let me tell you, that's bad. You don't want to be a two times loser, one in this kingdom and the next one to come. You should be sharing the pot with the wealth child. You should be sharing the pot with Rockefeller, with your people. No, I have a question to Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on. The Erde is gegeben in den Hand von den Bösen. Come on. Er decke die Gesichter von den so he covers the faces of the judges. How did this man cover the face of the judges? Let me show you. An example is this right here. He gave the world this image to worship. This image was beaten into the backs of the black people. Wie der Böse die Gesichter von den Richtern verdeckt hat, ist, dass er uns dieses Bild gegeben hat. Dieses Bild wurde uns reingeprügelt. We served your God willingly. Why? Because it was beaten into us. Come on. Wir haben diesen falschen Gott gedient, gedient, ja? Freilich, weil, weil wir natürlich unter Druck und unter Schmerzen das einbekommen haben. Every nation on this earth has bowed their knees to this man, who is a real live man called Cesar Borgia. But when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you that Jesus, the Messiah of Israel, looked like us. Come on. Jede Nation auf dieser Welt hat dieses Bild hier, okay? Dieses Bild hier irgendwie gedient oder geworshipped oder sonst was, ja? So, aber die Bibel sagt uns, dass Jesus Christus ein dunkelhäutiger Mann ist, ein schwarzer Mann ist, wie die die Leute, die Propheten, die ihr heute vor euch seht. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ was a schwarzer, was black, okay? Now, if your religious institutions, your educational institutions in Germany would teach our people that the Messiah looked just like us, your black on black crime in Germany would diminish. Your black on black crime in America would diminish. Our people would not have low self-esteem. Come on. Bring it also, out. Wenn, wenn die Kirchen uns die Wahrheit beibringen würden, dass Christus so aussieht wie wir, dann würden Schwarze Schwarze nicht mehr hassen in Deutschland oder in USA oder überall in der Welt. Dann würden, würde diese Hass, die wir für uns haben, diese, uh, diese Hass, die wir für uns haben, das würde eben senken und das wollen sie nicht. But they won't. They won't teach the truth. You know why? Because they want to keep the lies going. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. Because if they teach that the black men are the real Jews, that means the Jewish people over there in Israel, they got to go. They got to go. And many Jewish people are German bankers. Bring with it German out. citizenship. They control the money in Germany. Bring it out. They would never teach our people who they are. Therefore, destruction and death from God is upon them. Come on. Also, weil, weil sie alles, die Leute, die Leute, die äh, uns diese Lügen erzählen, okay, weil sie alles verlieren würden, weil die sogenannten jüdischen Banker, weil sie alles verlieren würden, würden sie niemals uns allen die Wahrheit erzählen. Das werden sie nicht. Und deswegen, deswegen, wenn Gott kommt, wird Gott alle richten, die das folgen. Now let's read the conclusion of the matter when it comes to these people that are in the land posing as us. Because they're not the Israelites. Revelation 3 verse 9. Offenbarung 3 und Vers 9. Achtung, ich werde dir das Sonnegorge Satans machen. Die sagen, die seien Juden und sind es nicht. Aber sie lügen. Achtung, ich werde sie zu der Synagoge. Achtung, ich werde sie zu deinen Füßen bringen. Und sie werden dich dienen, weil ich habe dich gelebt. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. So the Bible is saying, Christ is going to make the people that's calling themselves Jews that are not, he's going to make them come and worship before the feet of the Israelites. The, Is the Israelites are our people. We're out here trying to tell you that, guess what? You have committed a great atrocity against the nation of Israel. And by you not speaking up, 
On the behalf of Israel, guess what? You're allowing it to go on. And guess what? Death and destruction is knocking at your doorstep and you can't turn back the hand of God. It's already written. German is gonna, Germany's gonna be blown away off the map by way of nuclear missiles. America annihilated by nuclear missiles. That's what the Third World War is about. That is what the Third World War is about. The redemption of God's people. That's right. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. Yes, I am the highly spoke, for your God is, that your God had on the house of earth, um ein besonderer Fort zu sein, zu sich selbst, über alle Volke auf der Erde. So, the Bible's letting you know that the Israelites are above all nations. God gave us the commandments. We broke the commandments, that's why we went into slavery, 147, 19 Psalms. We broke God's commandments, so God sent us into slavery. God raised up your forefathers and put your forefathers over us. Why? Because we broke his laws as the chosen nation. Our job was to teach everybody the laws, but we couldn't get it right ourselves, so God sent us into captivity. Come on. Translate. God had us, God had us in the slavery geschickt, weil er uns die Gesetze gegeben hat. Seine Gesetze und die Untergesetze und die Untergesetze. Aber wir haben uns nicht dran gehalten. Wir, die Leute auf diesem Schild, wir haben uns nicht dran gehalten. All you black men in the audience, you need to come here and hear this truth about the gospel. All you Hispanics, you need to come right here and hear the truth about the gospel. This is about your salvation. This is about redemption for you. The coming back and keeping of God's laws. The reason these other nations are over us because we broke God's laws. Come on, Psalms 147, verse 19. The book of Psalms 147, and verse 19. Come on. Er sei Jakob sein Wort, Israel seine Sitten und Reiche, so tut er keiner Nation und seine Rechte wissen zu lassen. Halleluja! So God's laws was only given to us. God said he didn't deal with any other nations. So guess what? Your church has been lying to you. When they tell you, for so God loved the world that he died for only his, gave his only begotten, so guess what? Jesus Christ only died for the nation of Israel. Salvation is only for us. Bring it out! Because we're the ones that sinned against our God. That's why they call him what? The God of the Israelites. Is everybody Israel? God forbid. No, hell no. The Israelites are us, the children of the slave trade. Christ only died for the nation of Israel. And he's a so-called black man with white, woolly, nappy hair. That's right. I can prove it out in the Bible. All of these, all of these pastors out here handing out Bibles, but they ain't reading nothing out the Bible for you. They telling you, oh, Jesus Christ, love everybody. Every, Jesus Christ died for everybody, English and German. Okay? But Jesus Christ died for everybody. You can read it out your own Bible. Which language got your Bible? Which language is this This one? is English. English. The, one is the, the first Bible, was it which language? Hebrew. Come on, you can't yeah, try yeah. English. Well, tell me that this is the right translation. That this is not it the is. right It is because many of us speak Hebrew, and the KJV matches the did you, Hebrew. Did you read closely. the yes. very yes. first Bible? Yes. The very first Bible. Yes, I have it at home. So. I have it at home. The first, very first one. I have one. it at home. Next time, I'll bring it for you. Next time I come but to Germany, I'll bring it just for you. But it's not the very first one. The first one that's written. You know what You know what that is? Now you heard the conclusion of the matter. Now what you're doing, now you're, you're deflecting it, me, and you're coming right with excuse. The right you're coming with an excuse. The, the prophecies, the prophecies are true. God said that we would go into slavery on cargo slave ships. How did the black man come to Germany? How did we get to America? Cargo slave ships. Let me read it for you. Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's read it for the gentleman and everybody in the crowd who might have a doubt that the Bible's a real book. We're going to read something that Moses wrote down thousands of years ago. All right, so I, I want you to tell me if this is a lie. Deuteronomy 15. Read verse uh, 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. In verse 15, aber es wird geschehen, wenn ihr nicht meine Gebote hört und meine Stimme hört, euer Gottes, und dass ihr nicht meine Gebote hört und sie anerkennt und meine Sitten, wie ich euch es gesagt habe, diesen Tag, dass diese Flüche wird über euch kommen, 
und will euch übernehmen. So Moses says, God gave you his laws. You chose to break it. To break it. Therefore, all of these curses are going to come upon you. Come on. Also Moses, Moses sagte, Gott hat uns die Gesetze gegeben. Und wenn wir es nicht halten, werden alle diese Flüche über uns kommen und uns überfallen. Now let's see if the Bible's real, like you said, or if it's not. Come on, verse 32. Euer Söhne und euer Töchter werden zu einem anderen Volk gegeben. So whose daughters and sons was given unto another people? Let's take everybody on the planet Earth, and especially those who say they are Jews and are not. Now I want you to make a comparison. Whose sons and daughters was given? The black one. We don't. He knows it. Slaves. Okay, as slaves. Let's let's get the picture up. Yokes of iron. Give me give me the transatlantic slave trade. Okay, right there. Yokes of iron. Right. On our next so forth. Come on, right there. There we go. Turn it around. Perfect. Perfect illustration. Come on. Euer Söhne und euer Töchter werden ein anderen Volk gegeben. Und euer Augen wird es sehen und es nicht glauben. Und wenn es äh, und ihr werdet keine Macht haben, sie super prime. So we didn't have any might to get our children back. We didn't have any financial might. We didn't have a military might. Do so-called Negroes today have a military? We don't have a military of our own. We're supposed to be a nation of our own. We don't have a military of our own. But the so-called man in Israel, hold on, the people saying that they are Jews, guess what, they were given the land. They have the Israeli army, they have the IDF, they have the Mossad. Where is our Mossad? That's how you know that we're the real Jews, because we are under the curses, they are not. So the Bible is a true book, come on. Du weißt, dass ihr wisst, dass wir die Juden sind durch die Flüche in dem Buch. Okay. Among all nations, God said the Israelites will become an astonishment, meaning a shock. We are a shock. That's why in when? Where is it? Holland or Belgium, where they have um 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 Zwarte Piet. They still have Zwarte Piet, which is a mockery, making fun of black people with black face. In America, they call us black, African American, nigga. Over here in Germany, what do you call us? Schwarze, with your Yiddish German language. That's what they call us. Amongst all nations, we have become a proverb and a byword. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. We're the ones who broke God's commandments. So God put you over us to rule us in all other nations. So the Bible, the Bible is saying that the Israelites are gonna have to serve. Hold on, it's gonna have to serve all nations in hunger and thirst and nakedness. Let's start with hunger. If we need food, we have to go to our enemies, God says, to get that food. We don't control the importing or exporting of food. We have to go to the stores. Most of the stores in our community are owned by who? Arabs and so-called white people. Other nations. As a nation of people, we should be able to provide our own resources. We should be able to feed ourselves. Then it says in thirst. Who controls the the importing of water into Germany. Not our people. We don't control that. It's so called white people. If you don't pay your water bill, they turn off your water. Water is a natural resource. God is saying, because you didn't want to serve me, I'm going to make you have to go to your enemies for everything. The clothes on our back, what does it say? Made in Germany. Made in Italy. Made in the US, made in Taiwan, made in China. We don't even control the textiles to make our own clothing. So what happens? You become dependent on another race of people for what? For your living. You become a dependent on another nation of people to provide for you. Okay, that is a curse. Come on. Also, yeah, hold on, hold on. Wenn, also, wir werden, wir, wir werden, okay, wir werden unsere Feinde dienen in allem. Sprich, wenn wir Durst haben, von wo wird das Wasser importiert in nach Deutschland? Wasser ist eine kostenlose Ressource. Wasser kommt von oben, das ist eine kostenlose Ressource. Warum wird Wasser verkauft? Es, es gibt keine Klamotten, die wir selbst erstellen können, obwohl wir alle Ressourcen haben. An, in den Klamotten steht äh, in China gemacht, in Taiwan gemacht. Alles, alles, obwohl wir die Ressourcen haben. Okay, come on. Und in alles, was ihr braucht, und er wird ein eisernes Job auf euren Hals legen, bis er euch zerstört hat. You hear what the Bible says? The same man that we gotta go for, for these natural resources, is saying the same man is gonna put yokes of iron on your necks. This is what the Bible is saying. 
the book that you're saying, oh, we got to go all the way back then to the original scroll. No, we don't. You know why? Because God is a mastermind. God is a genius. He preserved our records. So we may have it in the last day. The awakening of the Israelites is because God's words was preserved through every captivity. So no, we don't need the, the original Hebrew scroll. Okay? The Bible says we were going to have yokes of iron on our necks. Look, look, use your eyes and look. Yokes of iron, yokes of iron, yokes of iron. Guess what? The Bible's a true book. Prophecy has been fulfilled through these men that you call Schwarzer in society today. Do you want to tell right? me that the Come black on. person are better than Absolutely. the white person or the what? People, the people, so the people, let's, let's, let, let's see what God says. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer anything. The verse, God is gonna speak to him for himself, okay? And then if you feel offended by what God says, my, 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 what you should do, now listen, what you should do this, if you feel offended by God's word tonight, go home before you go to sleep. You get on your knees, you get on your knees and you pray to God and he comes down and he changes his prophecies just for you. All right? Pray to your white Jesus. Come on. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. Come on. That's book Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Come on. Is that ein heiliges Buch, euer Gottes. Der Herr hat euch ausgesucht, um ein besonderes Wort zu sein über alle Volke auf dieser Erde. Translate. What did it say? I, I have my question. Wait, 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 wait. Do you, you want said, to tell me that wait, black listen. person are better than the white wait, person? Or what do you want to God, say? What did God just say? Listen him. Yeah, I am listening. I understand it, what he said. So translate, because I don't understand. You yeah. tell me what it said. He has an answer. He has an answer. You can't read it. What? Oh no, 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 no. Read it again. Uh, he's going he's gonna to read it and you're going to do the translation. Ihr seid ein heiliges Volk, euer Gottes. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.